Okay, this video is going to look at sketching quadratics as the title says. I'm going to look at going through doing it algebraically as well as using um, our calculator, the Casio one at that. So just these four questions that you can see at the bottom, we're going to go through those. Um, if that's not your cup of tea, leave the video now. Otherwise, hopefully this helps. So the first one is minus 2x squared take 2x plus 5. The key features that we need to find um, or we should know from looking at our equation is first concave or convex. We have to do a little bit of work to get our x-intercepts um, and axis of symmetry and vertex. So here we go with the first one. Just by looking at our function, we can see that it must be concave because the coefficient of x squared is minus. So I already know it's going to look something like that. The next thing that we know or can see quite easily but we're still going to write it down nicely is our y-intercept because that shines through when x is 0. So 0, 0, we can see that our y-intercept will be 0, 5. Okay, to get our x-intercepts, well those we'll have to think a little bit harder. We've got some options. We could factorize, we could complete the square, we could quad formula. These are our um, algebraic techniques. Looking at this, I'm really not that keen on completing the square because of the leading coefficient, there's no common factor. Um, I could try a little bit to try and factorize, but I doubt it. One of the things that you could do to save yourself time is if you are allowed to use your calculator, you can quickly check, okay? So just go back, so we've got menu, you go into equation, you would, oops, better do it from the beginning. All right, so menu, equation, you want to go into polynomial, degree 2. You type in your coefficients here, right? So you can see how the calculator has the A, the B, the C. So our A is minus 2, B is minus 2, and C is 5. We press enter, and we can see here, don't waste your time trying to factorize um, because it's not going to be able to. If you're in a test with no calculator, well, give yourself maybe, I don't know, 10 seconds to see if you could factorize it. And if you cannot, then just go straight into the chord formula. It's all about saving yourself a little bit of time. Okay, we should know our formula. It just rolls off our tongue. Okay, minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac. And don't forget the all over 2a. So in we go. Minus b, our b is minus 2. So minus minus becomes plus. Plus or minus. Okay, not oh, pen is starting to give. Be careful, minus 2 squared, it's not minus 4, it's positive 4, so it's going to be 4. Okay, minus 4 times minus 2 times 5, extend that out there. Okay, all over 2 times a, so that will be 2 times minus 2, which is minus 4. We're going to tidy this up, we get 2, plus or minus, negative times the negative is a positive 8. 5s are 40 plus the 4, so we get the square root of 44 all over minus 4. We resist the temptation to cancel out the 44s and the 4 because you cannot divide that because they're not both under the square root. All right, we can do something pretty tricky to the side, and that is to simplify our square root. So we know that that is 4, root 4 times root 11 which means that becomes 2 root 11. Okay, so we've now got 2 plus or minus 2 root 11 all over minus 4. And now I can actually write this 2, 2 and minus 4. I can divide each of those, not just by 2, but I can divide those by minus 2 just to make it look nice. So 2 divided by minus 2 is minus 1. Plus or minus, now it doesn't matter if you're dividing that by minus because it's the same thing. Okay, uh, and that's going to be all over 2. So let's check on our calculator. We've sort of done that before. I just didn't pay too closely attention to the solutions. Oh, there we go. Minus 1 plus root 11 and arrow down. Minus 1 take root 11. So we've got those. We can see from our decimal answers a rough idea of where they would lie on our plane. Okay, so concave we know. Axis intercepts, we've got um, our axis of symmetry. 
uh, we could, we can get that just from, oops, minus B over 2A. Pretty simple. Okay, and you can, we know that that's part of our quadratic formula. It's the average of these two. So when I pop this in, minus B becomes negative negative 2, so 2, all over 2 times A, which is minus 4. And so we get minus a half as our axis of symmetry, which I'm not surprised at. Okay, because look, it's that, oops, I should have done it with a different color. thought I had changed it. Uh, it is this bit here. Right, x equals minus a half. So it all connects. Okay, so there we go. And to get our y value, right, for our x intercept, so we're saying that this is a half, negative a half. How do we get our y value? Well, we pop it back into our equation. So we want to say y equals minus 2 times, instead of x squared, we now know our x is minus a half minus 2 times minus 1 half plus 5. Okay, and we should be able to solve this without using a calculator. So when we square a half, that's 1 quarter. Negative times a negative is a positive. 2 times a half is 1 plus 5. Uh, again, if this was open calculator test, well, go for it. Use your calc. So this becomes five and a half. Minus a half plus six is five and a half. So my vertex is now minus a half, five and a half. We want to sketch this. Right, remember we know that it is concave. And my x, my y-intercept is zero, five. So I'm going to lean a little bit to the right. Um, use a ruler, please. And remember it is a sketch. Okay. So we're going to look a little bit like that. We've got 5 over here. So I don't have to count out the actual values or anything. It's just a sketch. Okay, it's 5. Um, my y-intercept is done. We'll put 5 there. I've got an axis of symmetry that's going through here. That's going to be 1 half. Oops, no, it's not. It's minus 1 half. I just realized my um, axis of symmetry was minus a half, not a half. Oops. So that means I have to veer to the other side. Um, so here we go. Pop that as your five. All right. If we go back to our calculator, we check our thingy. So one's positive, one's a bit more negative. So this is going to be working out. All right. So I tend to sketch my, I'm going to sketch because we know it's concave. Oops, a bit wobbly there. And now I can say, okay, that's my 5. This would be my minus 1 plus root 11 over 2. This will be my minus 1 take root 11 over 2. Label x equals minus a half. And I can also pop my vertex here as minus a half and 5 and a half and going, yep, does that seem right? Yes, it does. Now let's check everything on our graphics calculator. We've already checked our um, x-intercepts. Now let's do the whole thing. So back to the calculator. This time we're going to go into the graphing mode. Okay, oops, better get rid of all of those. And we can just type in our function. If you don't have the y's there, if you've got some of the times you've got these weird x of t and y of t that's param um, parametric you might have accidentally it looks like that whoops go to type and we want to press f1 y equals so happens a lot so minus 2x squared my x value is underneath the alpha take 2x plus 5 okay we press enter i'm going to go shift f3 to change or make sure my, my uh, view window my axes are standard so press F3 again, minus 10 to 10. Enter, enter, pretty good. G solve max to get my vertex. Things check out. Uh, G solve y intercept, we shouldn't need to check, but yep, it's there. And it looks like a pretty good sketch. Just to finish off, I have noticed one thing about my sketch that I'm not happy with, and that is that I did not label 
my axes. So do make sure that that is done. All right, and then check everything else is labeled pretty good. I'm happy with that. On to the next question, um, which you can find in part two of the video as they get quite long.